Hi, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog. I also like to call myself the Chatty Pen Pal channel. And at the end of this video, we will have four beautifully decorated envelopes. We're going to decorate two, the ones that you see here, a square one and a regular one, at least here in the Netherlands, that is a regular size. And the other two we are going to make from scratch. So hopefully this will have something for everyone. Before I start talking about these envelopes, however, I want to once again point you to my other social media channels. Of course, you can follow me here on YouTube. I would be forever grateful if you decided to subscribe if you didn't already. I uh, don't have a set uploading schedule now, but I will hopefully go back to uploading two videos a week soon. But I also have an Instagram page, you can follow that, it's all linked down below. I always um, notify Instagram first of a new video, so if you want to know when and what I'll be uploading, Instagram is a good place to go, but I also share more crafty pictures of outgoing mail and stuff like that. And I have a Patreon account. Patreon is a website where you can sign up for extra content each month. Um, I even do extra videos and giveaways and uh, weekly posts and stuff like that. So definitely check that out if that's something you are interested in. Now let's go back to this uh, envelope decorating process. I've already done quite a lot on the first one. My idea or my goal for this uh, envelope decorating tutorial was to go with the flow because I am an overthinker. I will move things around probably a hundred times before I'm satisfied and this time I thought once it feels right you stick it down. <laughs> so I found that striped it looks a little bit weird on camera but that striped pink paper and I thought I like that so I'm gonna stick it down and then I found I have a uh, striped washi tape in my collection that I no normally wouldn't pair with this but I thought okay it's something new I'm gonna stick it down and then the next idea is to put a floral bouquet on this well I thought it looked nice so I decided just to roll with it and that's a very good practice not only for me but I think for everyone I read in a magazine article it was flow probably that it's a good practice for example when you're in a restaurant we always want to find the best option so in a restaurant we will look for the best dish on the menu and for a holiday we will look for the best holiday um, accommodation or something or, or country or whatever and I read that it's good practice when you're reading a restaurant menu and you see something that you like pick it immediately don't compare don't go um, browsing through the entire menu just to make sure that it's actually the best dish on the menu just pick it if you think hey that sounds nice go for it and learn to let go this article by the way was called um, FOBO as in fear of better options and I'm also sort of trying to incorporate that in my crafting because I will always move things around endlessly but who says that there's a better option? I mean, who says that you have to have the best option? If something looks nice, why not roll with it? So I also decided to do that with the floral bouquet, although I did have a couple options. Two of the floral bouquets I was cutting out earlier, <laughs> and they're gone from sight now, but two of them were from a floral bouquet service. So they always include a nice card, which I of course save for crafting. Another one was a die cut and the last one was a magazine uh, clip out. So definitely look around for things that you can repurpose. Uh, we're not finished with the first envelope, but I decided to go with working on this one for some reason. I don't know, I'm not working, I'm not finishing one project and then moving on to the next. No, I'm, I'm apparently working on all of them together. Um, there's the flower bouquet again. Uh, that's another tip I might have if you're stuck, work on something else for a while. Because it can spark your creativity, at least for me. 
So what I did on the square envelope that I showed you just now, I'm a little bit behind in my voiceover, is I stuck down a 6x6 six six piece of paper from the same paper pad as this one that I used on this envelope, and then I also stuck down a piece of a vintage music note paper, which is always nice. People very often ask me how I get those. Uh, simply, I found them in a thrift store. I bought books of vintage, well I wouldn't say vintage but just aged, uh, music note paper for 50 cents a piece. No one wants them anymore because you can find like sheep music and stuff like that online. So very often a thrift store is the right place to go. So this beautiful floral bouquet, I already said it, is from a floral bouquet service card <laughs> so it's actually um how would you say that it's actually an advertisement for them but i decided i'm gonna reuse it and it, i think it looks gorgeous <laughs> the golden shimmery flowers that you see on the bottom there are actually a washi tape stickers my favorite craft supply of all times apart from paper washi tape stickers i find them on aliexpress they're rel relatively cheap and they're very light, so perfect for sending as goodies. And I also personally really like using them. Not sponsored. <laughs> um, these uh, th this is a note paper, a note paper set I found on AliExpress. It's uh, made to look like paint chip cards. And what I do with them, obviously, is I cut them out individually and then I glue them down as address labels. Whenever I find a pretty note paper the first thing I think of is can I use this as an address label? So I have quite the collection and then I'm sticking down the washi tape uh, sticker. Same for the next one. Two of my favorite envelopes I've done all year. I say that often but looking back at this makes me happy because of all of the colorful all of the colorful elements and of course the flowers because i'm a flower girl through and through okay and then the, the next thing i'm doing is i am adding some extra glue to these bow stickers because they're slightly puffy and i was afraid they would fall off in transit i have to admit one of these envelopes is still here with me here today i have not sent it out yet so i don't know if it will fall off but you know adding extra glue can never hurt and then these are the paper letter blog stickers that i had made and then the circle sticker I actually received from Nikki. They were made, the paper letter blog label. Very cool. Next thing I'm gonna do is um, make envelopes out of a Flow magazine paper. I'm still not sponsored by anyone, but boy, I would love to get sponsored by Flow magazine because I use their papers all the time. If anyone is listening, I am very much willing to discuss this. That's just a joke, okay? <laughs> Don't take me too seriously. But anyway, I'm using a wooden envelope stencil. Um, I got that in a Dutch web shop, I'm sorry. I think you can also buy wooden stencils on Amazon or something like that. But if you want to learn how to make your own envelopes, shameless plug, I have a video about this. It is linked down below. You can make your own envelopes with or without special tools. So definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. But okay, I'm gonna fold envelopes and of course decorate them again. Um, but I also want to talk to you guys because I haven't done that in a while. I have to admit I've redone this particular part of the voiceover uh, four times already. The first part of the voiceover was pretty okay. I only redid that once, but this part is more difficult because I haven't been on YouTube. I haven't been that active lately because if you follow me on Instagram, you already know my anxiety has been sky high it has been through the roof i'm not throwing myself a pity party i'm just telling it like it is i mean i could sugarcoat it i could say oops i haven't been doing so great but yeah i mean is that gonna make anyone better not me not you i don't think so so i'm just gonna say it like it is anxiety has been a bitch excuse my french um so and like i said i'm not throwing myself a pity party but that's just it's something, it's part of my life now, right? And the reason for that is uh, we're in second lockdown. <sighs> and lockdowns in the Netherlands are not that bad. I mean, the main thing is that you're not supposed to meet up with too many people. You're not supposed to go out too often, but there's no real consequences if you do go out. And the biggest consequence for me, I mean, the biggest 
change for me is that restaurants are closed, which of course impacts my daily life quite a bit. So there's that. And of course, if you know me a little bit longer, you will know that change and uncertainty are my number one and two triggers. So yeah, it's just not a great time. And I wanted to let you know that. And uh, again, I'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that, but I know that when you talk about something, you give it less power. And this is me giving it less power. And I also know that it helps other people to hear someone talk about it because I know that I'm not the only one with anxiety. I know there are so many people out there who do with the same thing as me, but I also know there's a lot of you who might feel like you're the only one and that's just not true. I mean, it's much more common than you might think. And I think if we talk about it more and if we make it more normal, that was me accidentally tearing off a part of the Pilea. If we talk about it more and if we make it more normal, it will, I don't know. I think for me, it definitely felt good knowing that I wasn't the only one. The story isn't really going anywhere, but I hope <laughs> I hope it's okay for me to just mention it here and there and make it more normal, at least in my videos. Okay, nice intermission, Vivian. But back to the envelopes. Uh, what I did is that Pilea, it's called a Pilea, or in Dutch we call it a pancake plant because the leaves kind of look like pancakes. But that was cut from a Flow magazine as well. It was just an illustration, so it's not craft supplies, it's just recycled magazine clip outs. And it's so cute! When I saw that page in the magazine, I immediately knew repurposing this. So I decorated the envelope with paper scraps one large one in the bottom and then a smaller one to make the address label and then I also of course decorated it with that large plant cutout. And now I'm just doodling and I wrote happy mail four and it's super simple, it only has a couple elements but I love how this turned out. I'm adding some final touches to the other element, I loved that dreamy plant or is it a plant, is it a flower, I don't know, dreamy background. The paper that I used was already quite pretty so I decided not to do too much to it. The only thing is I made an address label out of grid paper and I added some little washi tape strips. Um, the washi tapes I used are from Note and Wish, they're a really cute UK based Etsy store. Again not sponsored, I'm just genuinely a fan. And then the last thing I'm doing is I'm adding little 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 nouveau dots um, around the envelope. I love using nouveau dots, you don't have to do this of course but I personally really like the subtle, I don't know, it makes me happy <laughs> and it, it looks, even when you're doing a simple envelope like this one when you add nouveau dots it already looks a lot more special. By the way I'm sorry for my head bobbing in and out when I get super concentrated, that's just what I do. Okay that was it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Or is it a tutorial? I don't know. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you know what to do, leave it a thumbs up. Uh, follow my channel if you haven't already. I already mentioned all of the socials down below and I will hopefully see you next time. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.